here I have with me Anna Sophie, who is the founder of Sins. So really important to understand since history is take it from where it began. Yeah. And uh, it began in your little hairdressing salon in Copenhagen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in 99 actually. So it met, it's many years ago and uh, it was starting because I got a really, uh, really bad allergy myself. Mm -hmm. Allergy for hair color and also allergy for shampoos and perfumes and so on. So um, so I was just thinking I need to do something else. So I was starting my first little hairdressing salon only with my, myself and um, I didn't have so many uh, products I could be used. Mm -hmm. So I was standing in the, in the back uh, mm -hmm. of the salon and was making my own uh, little um, uh, what can you say? My 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 the own treatment. yeah treatment and shampoos and I was taking indication in um, aromatherapy. Yeah. So I was like using a lot of oils and then I was also using avocado and and a lot of uh, rasul. I was uh, pulling uh, mm -hmm. rasul uh, soap or clay in my in 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 my back of the uh, salons. And then I was standing mixing this uh, and be using that in the salon. Yeah, so it was the, the, the start of the green hair dresser salon. And I think that I was the first uh, in Europe uh, who was making this. I was calling that on that time uh, 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 organic hair dressing salon. And I was the first one. I couldn't find anyone else who was doing the same. Yeah. So it's quite interesting that this whole vibe for you started from a need yeah. that you had allergies yourself. I guess this also attracted a lot of hairdressers to you that had the same problems. Mm. And I feel like today with Sense we also attract a lot of clients with yeah. problems yeah. and people who want to think more about it when they get pregnant yeah. or uh, have children. Yeah, today it's more like a healthy con concept. There. On when I was starting, it was because of my allergy, mm. so it was, it was a need, as you say, and it was like finding products without this kind of uh, ingredients that I have an allergy for. But today, it's more like a healthy uh, salon where a lot of people are coming also mm. to uh, protect themselves uh, against allergy and against uh, hormone disturb and. Uh, yeah, uh, cancer disturbed uh, like cancer um, promote the uh, ingredients. So I think that today is more more because of the health and because that it it's also getting uh, more like a trend to be mm -hmm. more uh, sustainable in your lifestyle. Uh, so yeah, so it was start with a need and now it's and now it's, it's getting more uh, fashionable just to yeah. be sustainable in your lifestyle so it's both more modern and trendy and we're kind of like riding this wave of mm. but i feel like also with sense it was almost starting it yeah. in the hairdressing industry and yeah. i should say there wasn't really there was nothing that that uh, were doing anything more healthy on that time mm. so it, it was it it was a start and and i think that in the start the most of the client, or like the most of the people in, in Denmark, actually, they they thought that it was a little bit fun. They didn't uh, they didn't understand it. Uh, I think that the only one who who was really understand the concept was the hairdressers who have got allergy themselves, mm -hmm. who was uh, start coming uh, and and working with me. Um, but but. There was not so many uh, people understand that you could actually work uh, more healthy mm -hmm. uh, as a hairdresser. And now we all know that this is the future. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone wants to ride this wave. Yeah. So what is it that makes sense different to... Because every brand now wants to be greener and more mm -hmm. sustainable mm -hmm. and everything. So sense does uh, some things to stand out from them working with certifications and stuff can you tell me a little bit about this yeah th i have think that 
it is really important now that you have the certification so people can trust that it is greener mm -hmm. and more healthy products because I think because it's it's also is getting uh, being a trend, then there is coming a lot of what I call a little bit like greenwashing. Uh, so people are maybe claim that they are green or they make just a, a green a green bottle, and then people are thinking that oh then it must be better or they have a vegan. Uh, a word on it or mm. something. Uh, so I think that the certification is really important uh, so the customers can be sure that what's inside the products or what you are claiming is also what what's inside it. So I think that's important to show them. And then you can say that we have been working with this, this green um, way to work or green trim for so many years, so mm. we are maybe a little bit in the front. Mm. We know a lot of about uh, what are you gonna uh, uh, divide uh, of, mm. of ingredients. So yeah, we, we know a lot about it. Both first movers and a few steps yeah. in advance to yeah. to everyone yeah. else. Yeah. Well, uh, that's great. And so yeah. thank you yeah. for uh, thank you. helping me with this <laughs> <Yeah>. presentation. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Bye. <laughs> Bye.